Hey gang, Zippo. Uh, went down to the firing range on Thursday. Wanted to sight in my Ruger Mark III Hunter and uh, do some planking with my single actions. And when I got to the firing range, there was just one guy there. The conservation officer was there and he was talking to me. And uh, the old man down at the end, he was sighting in his uh, Ruger Blackhawk and a couple other single actions that he had. And uh, one long and uh, old family friend Scott showed up and then uh, a couple of local police officers showed up and before we knew it everybody had a mini in their hand and were uh, just firing off rounds left and right having a good old time with my minis. We, we all wound, wound up racking off about 750 rounds of uh, minis on Thursday. This is good fun. Um, but uh, this one was the was the show of the crowd uh, just because of its I know it's not black so don't anybody correct me about it not being tactical I'm not going to use Duracoat paint on a beautiful stainless steel gun I'm sorry I'm not gonna do it anyway um, I hadn't I didn't pop this one out because I didn't want to fire it uh, but I did finally bring it out to show a police officer because he was asking me what else was in the case and I showed him and um, they uh, both police officers took their cameras out and were taking pictures of it sending it to their captains telling them they wanted uh, these for their deep cover guns um, so it was the show it was the, the showstopper um, but I want to tell you guys what it's got it's got a laser light laser um, it's an inch and five eighths mag 22 mag uh, North American Arms. The laser can be purchased through North American Arms or you can get it at uh, laserlight.com. That'd be North American NAA Minis.com. Um, and the uh, bayonet, um, although the bayonet is just attached to the uh, extractor rod, and I'll put the Zytel case on there so I don't slice my finger open. It's not real practical. One good bl glancing blow, and you know, you're just going to snap that extractor rod right off, your cylinder pin right off. So, but anyway, um, everybody just thought it was kind of cool that it had a bayonet on it and a uh, laser. The cops didn't believe it was real laser, and I flipped it on for them. Yeah, guys, it, it's a real laser. And you can actually sight it in. So, yeah, there's your elevation and windage. And uh, they all but talked me into letting them fire it but I didn't nobody had a uh, I didn't bring it and nobody had an Allen wrench small enough to set sight the laser in and I didn't want wayward 22 wind mags running all over everywhere so but uh, anyway um, just wanted to share a little bit of a story uh, had a good Thursday felt feeling pretty decent and got out and had some fun out there shot off a bunch of rounds and uh, plastered a bunch of targets. Uh, one of the police officers had a uh, Smith & Wesson uh, 44 Magnum and he uh, loads his own uh, ammunition. He had some hot loads and that's one heck of a hand can. He had it scoped and everything. It was a beautiful, beautiful piece. But uh, anyway, it was a good time at the firing range. I just wanted to share uh, my experience with you guys. And I uh, hope everyone's doing well. We've got uh, Thanksgiving coming up and Christmas coming up. So all of our efforts are going to be concentrated on going out and hunting if we're hunters or taking care of uh, getting the families together for good meals and good eats and good stories. And um, just wanted to pop in and say hey to everybody. Hope everyone's doing well. This is Zippo. Later. I'm out.